going? Yeah, so here for the final lattice assessment. The day of reckoning, if we can call it that. I definitely, like, I feel stronger, definitely stronger. Um, I'm fitter, uh, I'm 100% lighter. Well, 100% is probably a bit inaccurate, but I'm definitely lighter. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what the stats are. Um, I'm definitely still worried about my finger because it's not right and it hurts. So we just have to see how we manage that really. Uh, I feel a lot more confident than I did the last time we <laughs> were here for the same process. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. JV! This is all good. Oh no, I've got the mic on. Bring it here. I've got the mic on. Bring it here. Can just do, yeah, let's do it. Where is he? John Partridge. You were 71.2 that day, and you uh, were 8 uh, eight kilograms of assistance. Sure, You're like this. This boulder V10, wasn't it? 94%. And you were 71.2, mate. Now I've got the nerves again. now. I've got the nerves. Okay, you, can, you, can you remember the drill? Are you ready? I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready, fool. Okay, three, two. Yeah, and down. Whoa, JP, he's, he's got more flexible. Uh, our runner hasn't been the best in all honesty. So you'll remember John saying that he had some niggly fingers. It was always going to be the crux of training and they did flare up. And basically it meant that his biggest weakness, which was his fingers, haven't been trained. If you can't get strong, you get light. So if you look at that guy over there, it's now quite light. <laughs> Physically, you feel a lot stronger, don't you? We're, we're hoping for semis, aren't we? I might cry. <laughs> I'll tears. definitely cry. There'll cry. be tears. OK. And down. Easy peasy. This is uh, JP's agent. <laughs> you ready? What are we on? Uh, we've gone down to five now. So this is one kilogram heavier than you needed back in not quite a hundred days ago. And down. Woo! Still got it. Woo! <laughs> Next one's gonna be hard. You actually got cheeky. Is that flared up as well now? Ah, the, the magic okay. touch. Yeah, the owner. Is it the MF? That's not so bad. Really? really? Overcompensating with the uh, oh, uh, the strong hand. He's hamming it up, he's hamming it up. When you're ready. Keep going, 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 that is one point. If they're like this, that's two points. If you put your whole hand through and flare the hand without them noticing, that's a full 10 points. Can you just put your elbow back up? This is five points. So, for example, that's one point. Anyway, you can start playing that game at your local centre. <laughs> uh, are you ready, JP? Can you try harder, please? You're light, so you should be short, but you haven't been training your strength at all. I haven't been training fingers. Well, you got injured very early on, yeah. Jesus. See what I mean? He thinks I'm Jesus. hypochondriac. No, no. <laughs> He's just making up words. Hypochondriac? <laughs> I didn't call him hypochondriac. He didn't call me hypochondriac. <laughs> Come on, JP. He's fading on that. Whoa. Ah. So, with 100 days to train, that was kind of like, what, 15 days in, was it? The lattice? Something like that. So, you got, your fingers got injured to the point where you said you cannot train your fingers. Yeah, when, when was that? Five yeah, so then we decided you cannot train your fingers. You've got to fully rest. So since that point, you've lost weight and you've only gained 0.25 kilograms of strength. Can we, can we come and do another 100 days? Because of your weight, I did think you'd be a little bit stronger. Because it takes a while. Fingerboard making you, makes you really try hard. I've not, tr I've not tried or exactly. trained so any your, one arm. Your body's for forgotten so how to try hard. Like, I feel so much better, stronger, but evidently I'm not. 
This is like perfect pre-match hype territory, isn't it? This is just what you want before you do a competition. You want to come in and feel really good about yourself and get shut down. Try as hard as you can. Come on, JP. Yeah, keep going, 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 keep 100 plus, which is ambitious in that time. Yeah. But your middle name's ambitious. <laughs> Let's go for this last one, last one. When you're ready. Everything you've got, JP. Come on, yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And down. <laughs> Easy. We can go lighter. We can go lighter. <laughs> That's good. And now we rest. Ready for this. The lattice test. We've lost three, kilog three kilograms of weight and we've only gained one kilogram of finger strength. John hasn't been able to train his finger strength, so, uh, and he's basically been off climbing for most of the run up. So it's not ideal training. That's my summary. That's fine, I think that's fair. We're going to draw uh, John's lactic curve. So we're doing it at the same angle. Uh, so it's anaerobic, John's a boulderer, so we only really care about his anaerobic system. His aerobic system is still got quite important just for recovery in between attempts on the wall, the BBCs. Um, but we're going to be pulling hard moves after hard moves after hard moves. So the anaerobic system is the key. John's in turmoil after finding out he hasn't gained much strength. Uh, and his sports psychologist, he called him. Josh is doing a good job, he's starting to feel better. So we've looked at John's finger strength. And now we're going to go onto the lattice board. So last time, John completed 42 hand moves. The lattice board is 14 hand moves once round. So John completed three cycles. With specific intervals, we're gonna do between six and eight repetitions to see how efficient John's anaerobic system is. But his efficiency was excellent. So we're hoping that maintains the same because at the BBCs, John's going to be trying kind of at his limit and there's going to be intervals so he needs to rest, recover, go back on and we need that system to be really efficient so that he can recover and have a good attempt after good attempt after good attempt. Well, hopefully only one attempt. Okay, you ready? Mate, I'll point you around, don't worry. One is your first move. Right foot here, left leg out wide, such a diva. Ready? Three, two, one, go. One, twist, two. Right foot high, left leg out wide. Three. Match your feet, toe out wide. 40, right foot goes low, left leg out wide, 41, 42, 6, 47, good, keep it going mate, really good, left end, down, good, left leg goes low, right foot out wide, good, right foot goes low, left leg out wide, good, and 56, 57, 58, come on, fight it, right foot high, left leg out wide, good, well done mate. Uh. 2784, 2784. How many moves, Chad? Uh, 58 hand moves. Oh, no, you actually did 16 moves, actually, yeah. 16 moves extra. Your BBCs will be about how, hopefully, you can just do, you'll flash it. But if you need multiple attempts, it's how efficient you can come off the wall, recover, aero system, go back on, and still have your kind of maximum attempts. Science. Good, come on, fight it. You got it, you got more than this, come on. Cool. That was a bad one. Oh, left leg out wide. Come on, 50 seconds. Good. Jesus. And I thought your pain tolerance was low. <laughs> Talk it up. <laughs> Do you want to put some tape on? Left leg here, right foot out wide. Nine, 10, 11. Left leg goes low, right foot out wide. 28, come on, match your feet, turn out wide, fight it. Come on, fight it. 25, fight it. He finally says I've done enough. <laughs> the elation washes over. So you know, the good news is your anaerobic system went from 31 to 39%. So basically, your actual ability to pull hard moves has improved. The numbers are in. 
they're not fully in yet. We've got to send them off to, to the lattice. But uh, your biggest weakness when we started training for your fingers, everything else is massively improved. Your body is stronger, your anaerobic system is better, your efficiency is better, and your conditioning is better. I just feel happy that we've actually got, we've actually got there. Yeah, you know, and, and ultimately, like, am I going to be competing with the guys at the top? No. These guys are operating at an amazing yeah. level. I think one of the things that we've got to, yeah, we've got to appreciate, you took two years off, so you, at your peak, arguably, you took two years off and your competitors have been training throughout that time. The goal has to be achievable and for me I feel like semi-finals, making, making day two, climbing twice is yeah. the goal. And feel, then from there, and let's more, see more how it goes. Feel, feel fit, healthy and able yeah. to, to compete. Pain, suffering, there's no gain without pain. <laughs> That's the role of that story. That is, that is. No, yeah. So if basically, have, don't call this a comeback. For one, I kind of feel like this is an ironic name. I was never there. Like, <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, I was never there. Be good. Well, good luck. Good That's luck, John enough. Partridge. Woo! Done. That's a wrap. I didn't sleep well last night, but when I got here, yeah, it was nice. Some friendly faces, people relaxed me, but then started to question the whole process. Very, and do you know what? In isolation, it felt like I was in a time warp. It felt like three years just have been and gone.